external angle in regards to the, the diaphragm and the restriction of pecs and lats on overhead position and the positioning of the ribcage, uh, the diaphragm itself. So if I have got this correctly, the sternum is supposed to move superiorly and anteriorly as you inhale. But the problem is, is that if you don't have access to IOs and TAs to secure the lower rib cage, you're going to get an upward translation of the rib cage, which then puts the diaphragm in a position where it is unable to fully exhale and create the zone of that position. So ideally what's happening in a upper extremity exercise is that we first establish IOs and TAs with a full exhale. And then we keep this position, and then we're thinking about the upper ribs and sternum, that pump handle that Zach Couples talks about, inhaling. And then the ribs continue to stay down. So we want this effect. And the reasoning for the hands overhead is because naturally when you exhale, the pecs, lats, and serratus are concentrically oriented, which means shortened. So by putting my hands over my head, I'm eccentrically orienting those structures, making it much easier for me to get the pump handle moving up. I'm gonna give this a try. This is what my overhead position looks like right now. And these are what my internal rotation of either side look like right now. I'm gonna go through the exercise and then we'll see what this looks like. By the way, the reason that I'm choosing a overhead reach instead of a center squeeze is because my infrasternal angle is a wide angle. And when your uh, infrasternal angle is wide, we wanna let go of pecs and lats Whereas if it is narrow, we want to use pecs to kind of drive that pump handle into the better position. So I'm going to use a ball for between my knees. I'm actually going to use a balloon for this to kind of really focus on the breathing portion of this. So my focus on this is keeping my rib cage down here, but allowing the pump handle to move anterior and superior, filling up the chest walls up with air. I'm going to be doing a double hand reach overhead uh, to ensure that the pecs, and lats are in the eccentrically positioned uh, orientation. So, ball between my knees. I'm gonna turn my hamstrings on and tuck my butt underneath me. So, squeeze the ball. Hamstrings are on. From here, ball between, or balloon in my mouth. So what I'm feeling here is actually an ability to bring my hands overhead a little easier. I am feeling a bit of a stretch through pec minor. The first few breaths, it was hard for me to get my rib cage down at first. So I was really focusing on a relaxed full exhale into the balloon. I'm going to do this for three more sets and then I'm going to retest my uh, flex position and my in bilateral internal rotation. I know there's limitations in terms of the flex position and internal rotation, but we're just going to go with what I got. This is the easiest way to do this. So I'm going to do three more sets. I'll be back. Okay, so I just finished my four sets of five breaths of the supine overhead reach, focusing on pump handle. This is my flex position. And here's my internal rotation bilaterally. I mean, I can even go further than that. Holy moly, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Especially on this right side. Jeez Louise, and this would... Okay, so, bottom line is, and my breakthrough is, 
lower ribs have to stay down, this sternum has to come anterior and superior. And this is not something that I've, I've really focused on before. Um, I've always thought of it as like the entire thing comes up, but you gotta keep your lower ribs down and you gotta be able to come here. And this is probably told to me many, many, many times before, but it's just kind of clicking now. So um, I guess I share this with you guys just to kind of show you what I go through as a coach and my learning process. And literally, I just watched a video from Zach Couples and I kind of, uh, mold around the idea with one of my buddies, Ian Kaplan, who's a chiropractic student and just an overall genius. And then from there, it's me kind of practicing on myself. And uh, then from here, it's, it's just layering things on top of each other. But uh, maybe you got something out of this video, give this uh, exercise a try. If you like this video, give it a like. Please subscribe. Uh, I'm Sean Flock of Flock Fitness. Have a great day.